Hey guys, this is Mike with another unpacking video. Let's take a look. This one has the tabs so it's easy to open. I don't have to cut through it like usual. I had the scissors on hand right here, but I don't need them because I can just pull this off. Bam, okay. Let's see what this is. All right, so it's, it's, a, it's a comic, it's definitely a comic. Now, just gonna get this tape off. Very well packed again, thank you very much. I uh, got this on eBay. All right, and this is the Fantastic Four number 328. Uh, and this is where Ben Grimm fights the Frightful Four. It's also the first appearance of what they call uh, the Fantastic Four clones. This comes up in a storyline later on in the series. And the reason I got this was because the storyline that they come up in later is one of my favorites. And I didn't know that this was the first appearance until I looked it up. So... You'll notice that there's this version of the thing, but that's Ben Grimm. This is a period in history where Ben lost his powers and they were transferred to his girlfriend, who was the second Miss Marvel, who a lot of people forget. Her name was Sharon, and she had that M symbol on her original Ms. Marvel costume and uh, carried that over to her costume as the thing. She became the thing on the Fantastic Four because Ben was human. Uh, now, later on, he gets his power back, and she gets transformed back, and, uh, well, they, they don't last, but <laughs> I won't ruin it for those who haven't read it, but also the fact that the, it's a Frightful Four issue, that's always cool. Um, in this case, this incarnation of the Frightful Four is Wizard, Medusa, Dragon Man, and Hydro Man, um, and if you're familiar with the comics, you know that Medusa and Dragon Man later on become allies of the Fantastic Four. But in this period of history, you can see that they are enemies. And if you take it, take a look at that little key in the in the top left corner, that lower left side, it looks like the way the thing looked when he originally started. And that's actually uh, the Sharon. I can't think of her last name. And uh, not to be confused with the Ms. Marvel, uh, that was Carol Danvers, who later became Captain Marvel. Different Ms. Marvel. Also not the Ms. Marvel um, that has the stretchy skin transforming powers that is the more modern one. This was in late 70s, early 80s Ms. Marvel. And to be honest with you, I'm not sure what they've done with the character since or, or what's going on with the character currently. Now what I find interesting is that uh, in the center there, there's this very overly rocky, aggressive, jagged looking version of the thing. And I was pretty sure that that incarnation of the thing, which is also Ben Grimm, didn't come up until later um, in the storyline in this series. So unless they were secretly telegraphing that, uh, perhaps I'm mistaken, but uh, either way, we've got Ben Grimm, versus the Frightful Four, because the rest of the FF has been taken out, including that era's thing, which was female, which you couldn't tell other than the fact that she wore a full body costume. Anyway, key issue, great condition, great packing, got it at a great price, and uh, really looking forward to pouring over this and reading it later. Uh, and this one is from, looks like 1989. There you go. Fantastic Four, Ben Grimm. I feel like, yeah, that's gotta be 89. 69 would be too far back, but it's just, I find it easier to read letters through the camera than I do in real life. What does that mean? Does that mean my eyes are going? Anyway, awesome key issue. Looking forward to reading that. That's gonna go on my personal collection. In the meantime, you know what I do. I show you something that you can get from me on eBay. So. I'm going to take the opportunity to grab this guy. He's big and heavy. I'm going to move this. All right. Now this is hand sculpted, handmade, hand fired hair, kiln, kiln fired clay. As you can see, hollowed out. Otherwise, it would explode in the kiln but incredibly heavy. This thing's gotta be three or four kilograms. Um, 
And this was a sculpture that I sculpted and hand painted and glazed and, and kiln fired um, of a gorilla head. I just, I'm a big fan of monkeys and gorillas. Uh, half of the sculptures I've done are primate, primate related, Bigfoot related. And this is a big, if I may say so, beautiful. I did all of these textures for the hair studied the shape of the head of some gorillas obviously not a hundred percent uh anatomically accurate uh, it's not to scale as you can see uh a gorilla head would be much bigger than that but if you dig this you can get it on ebay now i do want to mention something about this i do get questions sometimes like how often do you adjust your prices? How often do you lower your prices? How long do you let something sit in the store before you discount it? And uh, that's not my business model. Um, and I don't deal in mass produced kitsch modern stuff that there are a million copies of. And in this case in particular, this is a one of a kind piece of art. And one thing to understand and learn if you want to collect art of any type is that one of a kind does not go down. It only goes up. So the best time to buy one of a kind artwork like this or anything else is when you see it um, because it is only going to go up. Um, now, there is a slight chip right there in the nostril, so that will be reflected in the price. But if you dig this and you'd like to add it to your collection and make it a display piece, I made it myself. It's hefty. It's heavy. It's going to be expensive to ship, but you can get it. And you can add this to your collection of one-of-a-kind art at home. Now, this is where I thank you because I do. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate you watching my videos. Uh, I don't ask for likes and subscriptions and follows because I find that a little bit much. And, uh, you know, that's up to you. You like it, you, you do what you want. But this here, one of a kind piece of artwork, and you can get it, add it to your collection from my eBay page. And where can you find my eBay page? It is linked to my publishing website at mikegagno.ca link in the description thank you for watching have a great day